YouTube fam, Coach Ryan here. I want to talk about the man that talks bad about his ex. The man that talks bad about his ex. I want y'all to understand this right here. When you meet a man and that man got something to say bad about his ex, don't believe everything that man say. What you got to understand is there are three sides to every story. It's going to be his side, his ex side, and then you're going to have the truth. Understand that right there. The man that talked bad about his ex, that is a man of low character. That is a man, nine times out of ten, that is a man who does not take responsibility for his ashes. He put everything on his ex, the reason why they are not together. And we all know, a lot of times, most of the time when a relationship don't work out, it's not just going to be just one party. Understand it right here. And uh, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I've known there's a lot of women who took a man who that man claimed that his ex dogged him out, his ex did him wrong, she took his clothes, threw it out on the ground, kicked him out of the place. Um, she just was like, was mean to him and she broke, she broke up with him. She left him. Listen to me. I'm coaching. I'm in the trenches. Women in this generation, in 2021, are not leaving no man for nothing. I'm trying to tell you what I know. That one thing about a woman, a woman does not even leave a man that's that's controlling her, verbally disrespecting her, putting her down, calling her names. A woman don't even leave a man that does that. How? Why would they leave a man that's a good man? That one thing women are not um, women are doing in this generation. Women are leaving no man for any and everything. I know what I'm talking about. If a woman leaves a man, if a woman do a man like that, trust me, he did something wrong. And he never going to tell his side of the story. He always going to tell, well, her side of the story. He's not going to admit the truth, but he always going to tell you what she did wrong. How she kicked him out of the house. How she did that. How she would like this and she would like that. Trust me. If a woman treat a man like that, nine times out of ten, it's something that he have done to that woman. See, he's not going to tell you about the time that he cheated on her. Cause that, 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 he's not going to tell you that right now. He's not going to tell you about the time that she kept asking him to give, give her quality time, to call her, spend time with her, massage her feet, hold her. He's not going to tell you that right now. He's not going to tell you how many times she called him cheating. You see what I'm saying? But he's going to sit there and talk bad about his ex. And then now, you take a man, now you feel soft for him. Like, oh, wow, I can't believe she did that to him. Oh, my God, you got this good man. But guess what? Nine times out of ten, watch this. Nine times out of ten, when a woman do a man like that, when a woman break up with a man, when a woman throw a man clothes out, throw him out the house, when a woman be mean to a man, not all the time, but nine times out of ten, it's because that man cheated. Because that man cheated on her. And he ain't cheated one time, he cheated multiple times. Because I'm telling y'all what I know. These, a lot of women in this generation, they, you have to do a lot for them for them to leave you. I'm telling y'all what I know. Uh, I see men do this all the time. I see women allow men to drag them in the mud and they still ain't going nowhere. Do you understand me? So nine times out of 10, he gonna get, he gonna get with you. Why he gonna get with you? He gonna cheat on you. I'm telling y'all, I see this thing in the coat, in the trenches. As a coach, I'm coaching. I coach a client, and she told me from the beginning what happened. She told me how his ex throwed him out the house, and how she, his ex did this to him. And then she take him in, move him in her place, and then get what? Two or three weeks later, maybe a month later, she see all the red flag that his ex had to deal with all this time, all these years. And then he end up getting in a relationship with her, they end up falling in love. Sometimes they get married. Now, this man can't start cheating. And then I tell my client, this is where you went wrong at. That was a red flag when his ex did him the way he did him. Because a woman is not going to do no man like that for no reason in this generation. Because the one thing about a woman, a woman, women are not trying to lose no man. Trust me. Women are not trying to lose no man. I'm trying to tell y'all, I know what I'm talking about. It may not be every case. It may not be every case. It may be some cases where, you know, a man, you know, might be good to a woman and she might 
hurt him, but that that's not the normal. It's not normal. Women are doing all they can in this generation to keep a man. Because that one thing a lot of women want more than anything is a man. Trust me, I'm trying to tell y'all. So, and I tell my client, that where you went wrong at. His ex did that for a reason. She ain't, she ain't kick him out for no reason. And no woman ain't going to do the man wrong for no reason in most cases. It all depends on that woman. Maybe sometime a woman could be broken and damaged. But that that that's very rare that a woman going to get a man and just dog the man out, kick the man out the house and, 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 and for no reason at all. And this man is a good man. Now, you have some... You have some women out there, right? And they not they not bad women, but sometimes a man can bring uh, um, the worst out of a woman. Sometimes a woman can be not a bad woman, but because she with the wrong man, that man can put him up, turn her to something that she really not. You see what I'm saying? Then that man can be, that woman can become resentful and spiteful toward that man. And then she do that man wrong. But it's all started with him, what he did. Trust me. In most cases, nine times out of ten, if a woman treat if a man treat a woman like a queen, come in her life and leave with love, that woman ain't going nowhere. That woman ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you what I know. I'm in the trenches, I'm coaching. A woman ain't gonna leave no man for any and everything in twenty twenty one. I have to beg women to leave a man who putting their hands on them. To leave a man who who just dragging them in the mud, cheating, cheating. Who put um, you know, um, I gotta beg them to leave a man who verbally disrespecting them, calling them ugly, calling them stupid, calling them this, and they stay right there. So you can't tell me if they if they're not leaving a man who doing no wrong, you can't tell me they're gonna leave a good man. Women ain't leaving no good man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Women are not leaving no good man. Don't believe that right there. So when you meet a man and he got a story to tell you about your ex, that's a red flag. That's a red flag. And it's it, it always bad. Nothing, you know, nothing that he did wrong. Listen to me. I'm going to sit here and say up until this right here to y'all with, with, with my exes that I've been with. Guess what? It wasn't their fault. It was me. I want the man that I am today. I'm going to hold myself accountable from what I did wrong in a marriage. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to, you know, say that everything my wife, ex-wife did. She did this. She did that. She did this. But like I told y'all before, the reason, the root of the problem was with my ex-wife was that, you know, I want the man that I am now. You see what I'm saying? I, you know, I didn't know how to lead with love. I didn't understand about manhood. I didn't understand about the biggest servant in the house supposed to be the man. So I was a selfish man when I first got married. I was a selfish man. You see what I'm saying? I was a man that didn't understand manhood. So I, you know, I wanted my my ex wife to serve me. You know, I didn't understand about serving her. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand about how important it was that she serving me to serve her, giving her foot massages, rubbing on her back, things like that right there that I did not do because I was too selfish to do. See, I'm man enough to admit my wrong. I'm man enough to look look at my you know my failures and my mistakes and tell y'all, hey, this is what I did wrong because I want the man that I am. I'm not gonna sit here and bash my ex and put her down and she did she did that. Listen. I'm going to tell you this right here too, especially if that man got children with that woman. That's a red flag. That's a man, a man who bashes his baby mama, that's a low character man. Do you understand me? A man who bashes his baby mama, that's a low character man. And I suggest you, as a woman, take it as a red flag, and I suggest you to back off. Back off, because that's a red, that's a red flag right there. You see what I'm saying? That's why I don't sit here and bash my ex, because... They, they're a mother of my children, you know, and they're not bad women, they're good women, you see what I'm saying? But I'm man enough to admit my wrong, meant what I did. Yeah, they did wrong too, but I'm man enough to admit my wrong. So if I meet a woman and she's like, so what happened with your ex, you know? I'm going to tell her, say, listen, you know, um, I had to grow up and be a man, you know? She, yeah, she did her wrong, she did her things to me, but at the end of the day, I wanted the man that I needed to be. 
you know, I did this. I'm letting know what I did. You know, I didn't. I was a selfish man. I didn't. Leave, I didn't know how to lead with love. You know, I was a man that was a man in the church with my ex wife um, in the pulpit, young minister in the pulpit. But I wasn't doing right. I was still watching bad movies, still watching inappropriate movies. And my ex wife saw that. She caught me watching that. She saw it coming up on the computer. You know. Stuff like that, and she approached me about that. You know, that made her resent me. That made her treat me the way she treated me. She lost respect for me as a man because she looking at it like this man is a minister, this man is a man of God, and look what this man doing. She lost respect for me. See, this is what these men don't understand. They want you to respect them. They want you to submit to them, but they don't understand. It takes a real man to get a woman to submit to him. It takes a man that know how to lead with love. See, a man got to love a woman into submission. A man got to love a woman into respect. You, you can't expect a woman to respect a man if that man is looking at bad moves and that man supposed to be a man of God. I'm trying to tell y'all, I want this man all my life. The man that I'm talking about on these videos, I used to be that man. I used to be a grown boy. And I'd be the first one to admit to anybody about my past relationships, you know, I point the fingers at myself. That's a real man. But see, a grown boy, he he always want to look at what his ex did. He gonna tell you, oh she did this, oh she that, oh she nasty, oh that be this, call her all her name, da 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 da. And then some of y'all sit right there and still continue on with this man. When you meet a man like that right there, that's a man that have low character, and I and I advise you to leave that man alone. Okay, I know what I'm talking about. As a coach, I experienced when a woman continued to date a man, and they tell me how, they, how they, that woman ex did them, that same man get with them and dog them out. I have coached one client, and you know, I talked to her already. She said she don't mind me, you know, um, sharing her information. I'm not gonna say no name, but you know, I had coached one client, met a man, and then the man told her, watch this. His, uh, his ex, his ex daughter didn't like him, and I said, you know why, uh, the daughter didn't like him because of him. It wasn't the daughter's fault. It wasn't the mama's fault. It was because of him. And watch it now. There was a red flag that she missed. There was a red flag that she missed. So they, you know, she took him in and get what that same man. He started calling her son a name. He started name calling her son. And I told her, now you see why the ex-child did not like him. But he go around, call people children name. You understand me? So that's a red flag right there. You meet, him, you meet a man, he telling you, yeah, my ex, my ex-children don't like me. They, they disrespectful toward me. They don't like me. Nine times out of ten, it's because of the way he treating their mama. Nine times out of ten, it's because of the way he treating them. Whenever, in most cases, maybe some exception to the rule. But I'm not talking about the obsession. I'm not teaching the obsession. It may be some obsession. But in most cases, whenever a man is with a woman and she has children, and that woman's children do not like that man, it's because he does not respect their mother. You could not expect a child to like a man if he don't treat a mama like a queen. I'm a man. I know that right here. I have dated women that have children, and they children love at me. Because you know why? They know how they saw how, how I treat their mama. I was affectionate towards their mama, right in front of their face, to let them know, hey, I love your mama. I was with um, a woman one time that had two boys, and you know, a lot of times when women have boys, you know, they feel um, a little, a little, you know, a certain type of way when their mama start dating a man, especially if she ain't been dating in a long time. You see what I'm saying? So they feel some type of way, like, hold on, like, who the man here coming in here? And I experienced that with. One of my exes that had two boys. Yeah, at first, they was a little like, you know, go again, the male ego, like, hold on. Like, they felt like I was trying to take their place, right? But when they saw how I loved their mama, and I started spending time with them, and guess what? They 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 they, they, fell, they fell in love with me. They used to call me, hey, hey, Mr. Roger, hey, hey, when you going to come play football with us? When you going to come play basketball with us? You see what I'm saying? So when a man talking bad about a woman child, guess what? He's gonna do the same thing about your child. If a woman, if a man says his ex-child did not like him, guess what? 
your child ain't gonna like him. In most cases, I'm trying to tell you what I know. As a coach, this is my experience. I'm mean, inside the trenches. I'm telling y'all. And see, a lot of people wanna gonna come in the argument and comment wanna argue. Sister beg a different. Wanna come in the comment. Oh, that's not right. This and that and the other one get her opinion on this radio. Because she she not in the trenches. She not coaching. She don't know what's going on out here. I know what's going on out here. I'm in the trenches. I'm coaching every day. This is what I see. Every day. Two clients a night every day. I'm coaching. So this is what I see going on. I see the same patterns. So when I see something in coaching, I'm going to address it in my videos to let y'all know. Watch out for the men that talk bad about his ex. In coaching, my experience, the men that talk bad about the ex, he always going to end up disrespecting and dogging out and cheating on his next. If you his next, he going he gonna to run you in the mud. Because he always going to give you his side of the story. He never going to admit. It takes a real man to admit they're wrong. He never going to admit his part and what he did wrong. He going to look at her as the bad person. Like, he the only one that he did right. Listen to me. It's impossible for a man to treat a woman like a queen. I ain't gonna say impossible, I take that back. But it's just not right, it's just not normal for a man to treat a woman like a queen. Honor a woman, respect a woman. And that woman, for no reason, just hurt that man feeling. All that stuff that they, they be talking about they be doing, kicking him out of the plate. Listen, if a man got a story like that to tell about his ex, that's a red flag. And I, I, really, I want to tell you to cut it off, but I know most of y'all ain't gonna cut it off in a way. But I'm gonna say this right here: really, you need to cut it off. But if you're not gonna cut it off, which you're not, you're a woman. You're gonna sit right there, and listen to what the man say, and you're gonna feel sorry for him. And then now you're gonna try to show him that you better than his eggs, and you not like his eggs, and all this stuff here. And then he gonna dog you out. So if you don't call call it off with that man, if you don't cut it off with that man, just Bring your raise your antennas up. Do some investigation. You want to do some digging. You want to find out what really happened between him and the ex. You want to do some digging. Do some investigation. You know, ask more questions. You know, ask them. You like so. You, so you ain't did nothing wrong to her. You ain't, you know what I'm saying? Don't just believe everything the man say. Ask some questions. So you ain't did nothing wrong to her. I mean, you was perfect. You, you was a perfect man, and for no reason she did this right here to you? Oh, wow. Really? So you mean you ain't cheat on her? Nothing like that. You promised you ain't cheat on her. Talk to him. I, I, Y'all think I'm playing. I'm dead serious. Talk to him. Just like this right here. So that means you ain't even cheat on her. You went on Instagram, none of that stuff. You went on Instagram. You wasn't been cheating on her. For no reason she just went crazy on you like this right here. For no reason she was crazy. For no reason she, she, she dogged you out. For no reason... She throws her clothes out on the ground. She bleached her clothes up for no reason. For no reason, she slashed your tires. For no reason, she bust the wind out your top, um, the wind out your car. For no reason. She did all of here for no reason. And you was a great man, right? Let's see what he said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why you ask me all these questions? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you don't believe me? You don't believe me? That's a red flag. That's a red flag. A real man gonna admit he's wrong. Understand that right here. In most cases, nine times out of ten, if a woman doing a man wrong, if a woman dogging a man, if a woman doing something spiteful towards a man, trust me, he did something to that woman. He did something to that woman. It may not be in every case, but the majority of the time, the majority of the time, you need to watch that man who talk bad about his ex. If he talk bad about his ex, he gonna talk bad about you to, to his next. When you break up with him, when you leave him from cheating on you, when you leave him from dogging you out, disrespecting you, when you finally get fed up with him, get what he gonna do to you. After that man don't been on top of you, after that man probably gonna give you babies, got got you pregnant, and now y'all got babies, that same man gonna go to the next woman and call you all type of H and B's. She ain't no good, she this and she that, and that and the, and the other. So, Watch out for the man who talk bad about his ex. Me, my opinion, if a man dog his ex out, don't go in the father with that man. That's a red flag. That's a red flag. I'm telling you what I know. I see this pattern in coaching. Women take a man who ex dogged him out, did him wrong, and I tell him, see that way you went wrong at. Why you think his ex did what he did? 
Why you think his ex throw his clothes out on the ground, kick them out? And then, watch this now. And then, the woman that I'm coaching, the man cheated on her with multiple women. I told her. That's why ex, ex did it. Because he was cheating on her the same way. You're not the only one the man is cheating on. And then a lot of women blame themselves when they hug and cheat on them. You know, it was me. You know, I could have did better. I, you know, I, I, I wasn't attractive enough and I, all this stuff here. No. Look at this man pattern. He was cheating. Cheating on his ex. Now he's cheating on you. Understand that right there. You cannot keep a man faithful. You cannot stop a man from cheating on you. So chances are, if a man ex do her wrong, he cheated on her. He cheated on her. And he didn't just cheat on her one time. He kept cheating on her. And that woman got tired of talking to him. It is Cody Rod. God bless you. We'll talk soon.